Jason Ab here again alongside Warren Martin. Glad to have you come on back to the party here in North Carolina. Two teams that played really well in group play, both with interesting stories of how they got there, trying to keep in that fight for a million bucks. Yeah, you've got the English team that have been put together, hashtag a group of players that want to play at a high level, want to keep competing. They've got talented players throughout this uh, roster of players. And then Como, actually one of my ex-teammates, is the coach there, Mark Birch, who has got young players. They did have the celebrities of Steve Nash, but they, he's had to leave, and Cesc Fabregas is involved as well. So they've got some really excellent players, and they've got a tremendous fan base that are behind the goal as well. So that will give them that extra edge as well. Proud club over... Uh, a long time of experience in the league. Fell on hard times a few years ago, but they've been able to rise up, get the financial backing again, and are up back to the second division. Yeah, again, speaking to the, the head coach there, there's really a club that's on the ascendancy. They've got a good, wealthy investor. They've got good young players coming through. It's a beautiful stadium right on the lake of Lake Como as well. So they're sending nicely to try and get into the Serie A. But this is going to be a really tough test for them. Hashtag have got some, as I said, good players. Players that have played in England at certain levels not always the top level, but they've gone about their business and been professional soccer players. Now fans have watched this group go from semi-pro status, working their way up the lower ranks of English football, following along on social media. They'll follow along tonight. Hashtag United, Como 1907, ready to battle coming up. Flags unfurled here in support of Como 1907. The Italian side ready to battle the Brits from hashtag United coming up here in this round of 16 affair at TST from Cary, North Carolina. Let's go downstairs to third member of our team, Katie Witham. Well, Jason, I just had a chance to speak with Como's head coach, Cesc Fabregas, and he told me he's really enjoyed being a part of the tournament, but the one tricky thing is you don't have a lot of time to prepare for your opponent, so how they're handling getting ready is they just focus on themselves. He told me that what's impressed him the most about his squad is the consistency. He said, we've defended well, we've created chances, we've taken our chances. Positionally, we've been pretty sound. The guy that he told us to keep our eyes on today, their number nine, Alessandro Gabriel. He said he's the one that he thinks is going to have a big impact and come up with his first goal of the tournament. That legend and World Cup champion, Katie, thanks leading a group of young up-and-coming players for this Como program. Again, the rules here in TST, it's seven-on-seven, seven, unlimited subs on the fly, two 20-minute halves, offsides, oh, allowed throw-ins don't happen there are kick-ins again no slide tackles every game ends on target score time 
Again, we'll talk about that once we get there at the end of regulation. Every game will end on a goal. Starting lineups brought to you by Ufos. Again, the young nucleus there for Como 1907. Hashtag United again. What a story. The tags follow them along on social media with what they have accomplished. Guys that basically started to get to play together for fun seven, eight years ago have worked themselves into a cohesive unit and keep winning. They promoted three times in the past four years up to the seventh level of English football. Still a long way to go, but it's a remarkable story. It's a fantastic story. You know, that promotion and relegation that's part of the European Soccer Foundation. We've seen now in the Premier League, Luton that's come from the lower ranks has gone forward. So the Lake Como have got some wonderful players. You know, what an opportunity for Cesc Fabregas to give him some knowledge and for the young players to take on board the World Cup winner with Spain, obviously. And Mark Birchall, I said, one of my colleagues that was at Queen's Park Rangers and played at high level Welsh International as well. So these young Italian players are looking to impress. So as you rightly said, the club is on the rise. They've got new ownership, new money, new ideas. There is a lot of teenage talent. You mentioned NBA legend Steve Nash has a background in soccer team and played during group play with this group. Fabergrass leading them as well. But this core that's been on the field has been ultra impressive. Working their way to a 2-1 record in group play, second in group E. And able to push through. Only loss coming to Wrexham in their opening game and then winning the next two pretty comfortably to push through. Hashtag, meantime, cruising along 3-0 in group play. Champions of group F. Shot attempt there from Jermaine Francis, the 21-year-old. Time of the Chelsea Academy, QPR Academy, Reading Academy. Bit of force offensively for this group during the regular season the last few months. Big reason they were able to win that latest promotion. Netminder there, Alexis Andre Jr. The guy that wows folks on social media. That seems to be the, the DNA for a lot of teams is to go into your center forward, your striker, and then try and get the second ball that long diagonal. Get the forwards to hold on to the ball and have runners in behind. We've got Francis, as you said, on that left hand side. The contact there, just the pull of the shirt was enough for the referee to, to blow the whistle. Matt Woolbridge there, PK Humble bumping off his man. Now, a whistle here, the referee Christian Campo coming in just to make sure that everything's cool and calm here. Jersey pulled his shirt, and I think he's pushed his arm out as well just to protect a good referee and I got in the middle of it, defused the situation straight away. Trying to plead his innocence with a pull of the shirt, but just tempers a little bit on boiling point, but just needs a cool head. You just see as they come across, just at the bottom, there's a little bit of holding. And he just throws him and pushes him away. But then referee gets into the situation and we're back on with the game. Touched on. Patrick Patron. A key offensive piece here for Como in this event. First teamer for this group. Matched up with a bunch of the youth players looking to make their mark. Including Diego Ronco, the 18 year old. He's got a touch. Intercept there from Francis. Nice diagonal ball ahead. Centering thrust there from Woolridge. Recaptured there by PK Humble. Yeah, just starting to get. Hold of the ball now, hashtag, and there's Francis one on one. And this is what he wants Chelsea Redding, as you said, as a youth player. And no, no surprise, they're doubling up on him straight away. No. Says Fabregas saying that he doesn't know too much about the other team, but there's no doubt as soon as he starts figuring out who the dangerous players he makes sure his players are aware of that. Get it on. 
Patron will take a shot. The flex off a hashtag player. That's Harry Hasem, 22-year-old, up from the reserve team at the start of the year for the hashtag group. Working his way into the role with the main squad. Did you ever think you'd call the team hashtag? <laughs> to show you the world we are. It works. It works, yeah. It's got some followers. It's got some interest. Certainly does. They have built their brand to a T and it is paying off. And the results on the field have come along with it. This is the second time he's involved. He's getting clumsy and just falls on top of him and just a little bit of contact. Hashtag players just went over just to make sure that there wasn't no pushing and shoving. He's not happy. He's not happy because he felt there was a too much contact. Set up deep. Well, there's a bit of edge to this game straight away. Yep. I've, I've seen it. You know, the, the players from Como, they're, they're really up for this game it's going to be a physical game one that we're going to have to keep an eye on and we've seen the intensity level rise throughout especially that last game of group play for everybody trying to force their way to the knockout rounds and now that we're here patron again left footed crack whistles pass andre on the goal now and the older statesman maybe of the group on the field at 25 Ask member of the Italian youth national team. Six goals already coming from group play here for Como. And up front for hashtag Toby Romolaren. A big year for the tags. Ten goals, 19 assists, leading the team in helpers this year. Again, how many times have we seen a defender getting too close? Because we've seen this throughout this tournament. One lone striker, number nine, pinning up. Defender, don't give away cheap free kicks because this is maybe what Hashtag have wanted to get. A set piece, maybe because they've been together. They've got one off the training ground that they might work on, or is it just a shot? See a clever goal earlier on from a set piece as well. Greg Halford, veteran, Ooh. English defender. Rifles one into the wall, and now he gets pounded down. Run over there by Cass Odenthal. Again, referee Kempe does well to get over it. and just to just let the players get on with it. You know, they have to help the referee, the players as well. Yes, you want to be competitive. There's a million dollars at stake, and you want to you want to start feeling it, tasting it. You know, you want to be here tomorrow to be part of that. All, but so you've got to keep that discipline in your game. What a ball! Cross header. Opportunity there for Francis, who rose up and nodded it on. I think by his reaction, he thinks he should score. You know, he's obviously a talented player with the dribbling sense. It's a wonderful little delivery to that far post, and he just gets in front. Is there a little pull of the shirt? Maybe, maybe not, but he does enough just to get in front of the defender. It's two different, totally different styles, isn't it? You know, one one possession, going around the young player, they want to keep hold of the ball and pass it. Hashtag are quite happy to go forward. Maybe that's the English in him. Just get it forward and get it off the big man. Ronco. Gabrieloni with that captain's armband. The veteran here, 28 years of age, into the box. Maybe just got enough of the ball. No, really fired up for this game. I mean, there's a difference between being passionate. I'll tell you one thing, both teams won't back down. You can say that for certain. Both teams are going to be committed to this game. You're going to have to keep an eye on it. And maybe a card might be a way to defuse it with some of these players. And temperatures cooled off a little bit here, weather wise, but not it's on the rising field, yeah. on the pitch not on right the field, now. Yeah. It's getting, it's getting turn up a little bit. And you can tell by the, the fans that are engaged behind the goal. Come on, he's there. He's a talisman. He's a leader. Here, Bolcini. 
in goal again for Como 1907. To start the push up field. Ariolano trying to turn it. Andre will look to clear. That's a good front. It's, it's his pop. PK Humble blasting up. Rocketing one about five rows deep in the stands. Good hands as well. I mean, the, the fans have been fantastic with the way they caught the ball. Engaged in the game. It's hit with a lot of power, but good hands. There we go. No problem. There's the ball. Keeps them on their toes. The big man was the big goal getter. Hashtag United against Conrad and Beasley United had a four goal game. One of the best outings of any individual in group play. Twisted inside, Catrone able to finish. Gorgeous setup for Marco Tremolata. 1 0 Como. He was enjoying the goal, he was celebrating all over the field. Look, he's gone up to the players and he's given some as well. Yeah, the fans are loving it. But it's a wonderful finish. Well worked goal. The two players involved. And then he just lets it run across and he just passes it. You know, punches that into the back of the net. Cue the celebration. Unfortunately for the hashtag players, they couldn't get in front of him. He's just having a go at the bench. He's having a go at everybody. Very sportsmanship, but there you go. It's amazing what money does to people. You know, they think about a million dollars and then, you know. Same money to root will leave it. That's what me and you have got done. <laughs> <laughs> well, message sent. Oh, oh, and the goal oh, oh. deposited there by Patrick Patron. Homo strikes oh, first. Oh, and Tremolata, the 19 year old, who spent his entire career in the Como system with the assist. Tremolat is coming into this game with five goals already, so the helper gets things started for the Italians. I'll give a bit of a warning as well, you know, the, the English mentality when he's saying about chirping to the bench and going up to players, they won't hold back. They won't. It won't be for the faint-hearted now, this should be very interesting. Still early on, you know, to concede the goal, yes, it's disappointing, but the hashtag you've said they're winners, they've won promotion, still got a long way to go to where they want to get to, but in the lower leagues in, in England, they've got promotion, they're winning, they've got good team spirit, they're playing against a good team, they've got a good moment in the final third. Boy, Catron unleashing another missile on net. Andre tested her early. Skill, good ability, them to link up very well. Takes a shot early, and again, the noticeable thing that the shot's on target. Good technique, and it is a different style of game, you know. Seven aside, you've got to be intricate, you've got to be good technical. Tyson popping one up towards the box. Como looking to advance, they're looking for each other, you know, they're the two. Play it back, Olchini. He's a guy that's got a lot in common with guys from Hashtag United. Olchini's worked his way up the ranks from Serie D to Serie C, now up to Serie B with Como, just like the Hashtag crew have worked their way through promotion. They get as high as they can go in their nation's football system. Francis this time just gone on this right hand side maybe he's trying his luck a little bit to get involved in the game because he looks there danger man on that one on one keeps a little bit of whip from if they can get him the ball in the early moments like now Anderson trying to find the man in the middle they do opportunity there for a Roman Lauren Ridden off by Odenthal. 
and that's it again with the game. There's no throw-ins. Put the ball down and you're playing straight away. So there's no time to get set as a defensive unit. Oh, what a ball. Angled through, just out of the range of Francis. Uh, he'll scamper over to set for the quick corner. A good little bit of pressure at the moment for Hashtag. Anderson. Elevation the box. Pedro Cavallo checking in. Guy's got an electric presence for this Hashtag United group. Test for him at the moment. Next couple of minutes. Final five minute hero opening 20 minute half. That's one ball. Certainly has. Cheney with a long punch out to midfield. Hashtag United puts it back into play. Trailing here by a goal. Tally from Patrick Catrone. Pushing the Italian side from Serie B into the lead. See the near throw in there from <laughs> Francis was about well, we've right had, to start going. We've, we've had one player do it, and the referee had to, to warn him again. So, as I said, it's a habit that they're used to sliding tackles, offsides, they're out the window. All the innovations here, the soccer tournament. Trying to make fast paced, entertaining game that target score time that we'll get to at the end of regulation. Ensuring that no team's ever out of it and that every game will end on a goal. And thrilling to watch here in this compact format. Catron. He'll have a look. Andre ready. Yeah, he had no hesitation. Just opened up nicely and Decent effort again. That's great to see. You know, that's better. Oh, the champion just you know, played again. So far. Off the corner. Quick turn there from Gavioni. Top of the ball. Teenager, 18 year old, grew up in the Inter Milan Academy system. Another young prospect for Como in the mix now. Patron, Gabrieloni, two man game up front, corner ahead. Yeah, every time he gets the ball, there's something magic. Can happen. He wanted the ball earlier from his teammate, but it wasn't given to him. Looking for him again. Flip into daylight. Almost worked. Just one who's put so much energy into the game. He's probably going to run himself into the ground if he keeps going the way he is. But let's take it just trying to get a bit of a foothold in the game and they've not really connected too many passes. Francis through. Settle back. Trying to find Max Cornhill, the veteran for hashtag United. Get a shot off in that sequence. Dumped all the way back to Andre. They just need a little bit more of a imagination, hashtag, when they get in that final third. It's either just get down and have a shot or just try and get a play and move. Just keep circulating the ball around. Wait for the opportunity. Don't try and force it too early. And just trying to get one before the half time whistle goes. Ball was just moving. We're in the 13 tonight. Steve Nash wore that earlier in the event. Now it belongs to Ducini. Gabrieloni pounds one off the defender from Hashtag United. Another dangerous restart coming here for Como. But you can even have this as a corner. You know, that's that's a totally different. Normally it's a throw in. You can pick someone up. 
Well, it's across the goal. Can't save. Last few seconds here, first half. They've added one minute of stoppage time, we're told. Anderson will take a crack. Steered out by Volcini. Puccini. Centering ball. Hashtag had numbers in the box. Francis scurrying upfield. Ian Ronco dueling. Again, getting on with the game straight out. They can just sense they got one opportunity before this whistle goes. Signano back after a long injury issue for Hashtag United, part of this TST squad. But the Como fans, with more applause here, their team is the only goal of the opening half via a beauty of an effort from Patrick Catron. And right now, Como 1907 won. Hashtag United nil at the break. More action to come from the soccer tournament. TST here in Cary, NC. The soccer tournament is brought to you by Ally, proud ally of TST. Do it right. By Aviation American Gin, the official gin of TST. And by UFOS, the official active recovery footwear of TST. Second half of this round of 16 game, Como in front by a goal against Hashtag United. How about the lone goal here of the opening half from this Italian group? Very good goal. A good build up, good interchange, and a clinical finish. Cue the celebration. Again, they keep the ball moving. He opens his body up and he packs, passes that in the back of the neck. And that's that goalkeeper. Hey, you can't get down to, to save it. Bit of talking to the bench. There's a smile on his face now. It should be an exciting second half. Patrick Catrone with his seventh goal of the tournament. Let's go downstairs to Katie with Hashtag United's head coach. Coach, what was your message to the guys at the half? Um, to, to stay in, we're in, we're in the game. Um, to be patient. It's still only one goal. And we know the beauty of this tournament is whatever the score is at the end, we're still in it. And we've still got a chance. So I think we've had we've had our chances. We've not quite been uh, as as good as we have been in, in other games. Uh, and ultimately, we have to find a way of dealing with who is probably uh, you know Patrick Catrone is probably the best player in the tournament I've seen so far. Um, you know, and it's unsurprising really. We know that his quality, and his level. He's, you know, we've got some great pros here, but he's you know he's particularly. You know, is an active one, you know, and it makes a big difference and it shows. So we have to find a way of, of you know, dealing with that, but also imposing our quality on the game because, you know, we, we're a little bit better than we've shown so far. Appreciate the time. Thank no you. Problem. You watch and follow Hashtag United. You really appreciate Jay Devereaux. Feels like the perfect coach for this group. We'll see if they get the perfect result here. Again, target score time coming at the end of our second half. It's basically the leading team score plus one. That becomes the target score. First team to get to that target score wins the game. But every five minutes, we don't get to the target score. Each team loses a player. So we go from seven on seven to six on six. We've seen a game this week that went down to 2v2. Two two. Finally get the game winner to reach that target score. And just like this game started off, physical play here, opening seconds of half two. I think coach was right with that hashtag. They, they're not playing to their, their level. There may be a, a little bit where the occasion is getting to them, and now the, the spotlight's on them a little bit, but they're going to grow with confidence. And like you said, be patient, because I think earlier on they went too quick, too direct, too predictable, really. And it was easy for the Gummo players to, to deal with it, pose their quality on the ball. As we said, they've got good technical players. And there, easy giveaway. You just win the ball, you've worked hard, you've got the ball, and then you've given it away. Because 
that's the players on the white shirt they'll be looking to try and penetrate quite quickly with their passing good free start free kick alexis andre credited with four saves in the first half doing a good job of keeping this in one goal affair could do a lot andre about the the goal though because because he took it earlier Perfectly into the corner and he's trying to adjust his body again because he had no chance. There's Jay Devereaux's vote for best player of the tournament. Yeah, I, I, I would get, look at him and say definitely, you know, he's got a bit of everything about him. He's obviously a confident player. You can tell by his celebration the way he carries himself. Now in his prime at 25, Catron with the goal. The one the coach said he's lively. Yeah. <laughs> Certainly Which means he's quick, <laughs> quick, athletic, comfortable on the ball. Someone that you don't want to be chasing. And there was a player, Cesc Fabregas, top-class player, wonderful professional. We've seen him with Spain. We've seen Arsenal for a long, long time. Chelsea in the Premier League. And numerous trophies with them. And now finding a home with Coleman. Yeah, I mean, what a, what a way to you know, maybe start your managerial career. With Monaco as well. So, you know, there's... And doubt and talent. He, he comes across well. Anyone that ever speaks to him about the game, and that's what I've been for the young players. Just listen to what he says and the way he says it. it makes the game look like a, a painting, and it's easy to understand the way he comes across. He, as an analyst, we've seen him in the UK do a lot. He, he paints a perfect picture for someone to figure it out. Just shoot it in the game. This Como group has big plans for the big club overall. Again, thrust back down. Club went bankrupt in the last 20 years, plunged downward into Serie D, fourth division, just a few years ago, back up to Serie B. Plans to continue to build, increase the academy, stadium on the way there in the gorgeous Lake Como region. So we're really looking to help their brand here in the United States. PK Humble trying to pull his way up the field, cut back into the box, leaves it off. The only problem is Carvalho didn't know it was coming. Well, they, they tried to stop him. They tried to grab him. They tried to pull him. But at the end, he was just too strong and powerful. And that's what he's saying to the referee. There was a number of times that he was pulled back. And then he just wanted his teammate just to go. You could hear it from here. Say, go. I'm going to roll you the ball. Go. Don't stand still. And that's where, you, you know, they're not on the same wavelength. Where we've seen that come of players in the final third, the give and go. There's that understanding. They're still trying to figure out when to create the space, when to lay the ball off, and when to anticipate their running behind. Belchini up front, burns the corner. See some of the other players stretching out, potentially to come on. Leave off, Patron had another look. He's a good player. You know, the, the player that you know playing against him, he may irritate you because he's got that personality that can maybe rub you up the wrong way. But there's no doubt about his ability and understanding the game and the right moments when to have that extra touch and that moment when to hit the ball straight. And that was typical of his goal. Most players would have took a touch. He didn't the first time, and they're winning one nil. Shot there, deflected. Off the foot of PK Humble, didn't miss by much. Yeah, he's starting to have a big influence in the game now. Step over on the outside. Roma Lauren runs the corner. Yeah, again, there's that strength that he has, and then closing them down just inches just going past that far post but they're getting closer they've lifted the tempo of the game you know they're pressing a lot higher up the field they're not allowing the Como players particularly in the back line to get hold of the ball they're going to put them under a little bit of pressure because they've got a full strength of subs as well and they'll be changing over their fit Trying to save it. Pressure from Francisco Lampari. Just checked in for the first time. Another 18-year-old in the mix. A man from Brazil at age 24.
it's a lovely cool evening for the players. You know, they've been used to playing in hot conditions, sort of game after game, but now it's a nice temperature, beautiful evening. Good ball. Andre punched away. PK Humble. His energy. It needs a foul. It really did need to foul. It just. Andre coming up yet again. I think you said he had four in the first half, and this is a, a big save as well. A reaction save. It pushes it away from danger. He already got away, and there's the arm just pushing out. Didn't need to do that. Referee, easy call, right on the position again. His position of the game has been excellent as well. I think that's probably coach just saying you didn't need to foul. Get over here. Another quiet word with your call down. Como scored early. That lead stands. 1 0 here. Between the halfway point of half number two. The fans haven't stopped singing either. Nope. They've come along. We see the, the Welsh fans that was here for Wrexham, West Ham earlier on. We see the US national team was here. Well, we've got a moment about those Como fans. Let's check in with Kate. It sounds like a lot more, but 22 Como fans made the trip over from Italy, guys. And the, they said they had to be here. They could not miss this tournament, not only because they wanted to show their club uh, support, but also that they're working on building their brand. And, and you mentioned it. Uh, they're bringing on a new stadium, new training grounds. They're going to have an academy. I mean, Como is going to be what Wrexham is right now. They want to make that Como in the next couple of years, especially build the fan base here in the United States. But I had a chance to speak with one fan in particular who has been a Como fan since she was five years old. And she said it's the way that they play and the passion of the players that basically had her soul to begin with and said, I have to make this trip. And she's out there. Well, I'm going to be make, I'm going to make you jealous, you. So I'm going to be making that trip in June. I'm actually going to Lake Como to have a couple of days there. Then I'm going into Milan to watch a concert. Just before that, I would have been in the south of France as well. So put that in there as well. I'll be going out there. I'm going to find out a few restaurants. Katie, maybe we can ask to see if we can carry his bags. <laughs> yes, I've only got one. I've only got one bag, and I'm, I'm not choosing you. you. <laughs> I could fit in a bag. Exactly. I would make myself. <laughs> Como fans might make some new fans here, especially if their team continues to be victorious. The tags have other ideas. Hashtag United again. Trying to look for an equalizer. Header there off the backside. I was never really good at math, but I'm sure there's more than 21 of them over there. And I can't, you said there was they've 21. They've got new recruits. They've got new, they've got, they've told them exactly where their stadium is, how much money they've got. They said, I'm going to support them. Now they've brought a whole big social media kind of exhibit beyond the stands here to try to continue to get people on the Como 1907 train. And right now with their play on the field, they're going to Win some fans just from that. And the card out of pocket here. And shown. Yeah, it goes good. to Lapari. Yeah, good referee as well. They kicked the ball away and pushed it away. The referee just diffuses it, and that's a that's a yellow card. And Italian football's on the on the ascendancy. He's had a couple of years, maybe not as oh, I think there was a contact there. I think there was a little bit of foot being dragged away. We've got Obviously, Inter Milan that are going in to the Champions League. They'll be playing against Man City. You've seen enough Roma that was in the Europa Cup with Mourinho's team. This group, they continue to rise. The big club, 13th out of 20 in Serie B this season. They do a little bit better to try to find their way through to the Promotion ranks. Odenthal. Final 10 minute stretch here of regulation coming. And then we get to target score time. Again, a one goal deficit to make up in that time frame. Not too daunting for any team. 
So you can just start feeling it now. That tension's coming again. You know, 10 minutes to go in this game. The stadium's gone a little bit quiet. The players are obviously focused because that one mistake. Header through. Goal! Brilliance there from Hashtag United. The finish to equalize. That is one out the top draw. Won the delivery, the diagonal ball. No wonder he's smiling. What technique. That's wonderful delivery. And look at this for a header. That is actually a pass header. He's not just headed it across Amundsen. He's picked out his teammate and said, put that in the back of the net, and he doesn't disappoint. Rifles that into the back of the net. They're back in business. Matt Woolridge, young 21-year-old defender who likes to get forward offensively, does and delivers his fourth goal of the tournament and we're even up at one and i think that has set them down as well you know that's a wonderful goal and credit lewis watson with that gorgeous controlled header as you talked exactly about. it was just a little cushion header you see that it was at the far post maybe one that they've had off the training ground that you can hit the diagonal hit it across and make sure one because every white shirt was attracted to the ball they're looking at the ball they've got no idea where the, the attack is in at the far post and worked his way this season for Hashtag United through injury and delivering here in a big spot in TST. Alex Teniola, 31-year-old goal leader for Hashtag United during their regular campaign, had a run but ridden off by Catron. Hashtag, this is their best little spell. You know, they use their substitutions well, as the coach was saying. They want them to be patient. But I think they just said that a couple of minutes before the goal, just started to lift the tempo up, got on the ball earlier. Folly there. Mason had a run at it. Why not? Again, you look at this hashtag United group that's risen from the depths. In English football, trying to continue to work themselves up, essentially started out just as almost pickup players together and building something that's been cohesive and grown. Beat Natty FC, they beat Conrad and Beasley, featuring the great national teamers leading that to be Conrad playing, Demarcus Beasley coaching 6 3, Gracie FC with some talent there, 3 2. This would be a big one. Teddy Ola. Taking it down. This is against a team with a lot of guys in the future plans here of Como for this group. Now in the seventh division of English football to take down this Serie B squad would be a thing. Yeah, is it, you know, going on, you've said with the influence they're going to have and the money that they're going to go along. And some of these players, although they're young, have got good pedigree. And there's another opportunity. Just, they can sense it at the moment. They've got them on the rack. And we've got one or two of the Como players pointing the finger, just trying to get things organized a little bit better. Teniola had a look. Let's go downstairs again to Katie. Hey, guys, I'm down here with Lewis Watson. And as he walks over, I'm like, incredible header. And he told me he had to do it for the cameras. But take me to that moment. What did you see for you to set it up in the way that you did? Um, to be fair, the gaffer came on and he said to me, look, when you come on, we want to hit the diags. Just be there for the header in the box. And I knew my players would be there, so it was a bit easy for me. So I just had to make sure I directed it, so I'm out of breath a bit. Um, but yeah, I just had to direct it, and then uh, Maddie finished it perfectly. So it's good to be back in the game, but it's really intense out there. Listen, your gaffer was very honest with me. He said, we weren't playing our best right now, but we are going to get back in. Momentum can shift. It feels like the momentum is shifting right now in your favor. Did it feel like that for you? Absolutely. I think once we scored the goal, and maybe a little bit before that, we're slowly starting to grow into the game, and uh, we're looking better now. I think uh, we have been dominant, though, even in the first half. It was one shot, really. Great, great shot, but apart from that, I think we've been on top. And great saves. Hey, great saves. thanks for the no time. Problem, no problem. Watson watching as Andre had the bobble along the goal line, but secures it. Under five to go in regulation. There's that diagonal again, and there's that second ball played in. Loose shot. What a stop! Massive there for Bolchini. Again, referee again, again, gets into it. Yeah, there was a bit of contact, but the referee's done well. He said sorry. 
Thornhill, closest man there for Hashtag United. Give a little dab touch to the goalkeeper. Some of the other defenders not liking it. But Mancini is up and ready. Well, that's definitely something they've worked on. That diagonal ball, the knockback in the second ball. That's a good save, a brave save. And again, a good, good effort by Francis just to try and get it on target. But there's a little bit of a kick as he comes through. That's what really got the Como players. But again, that second ball, that's how they got their way back into the game. And he's done the right thing, trying to get on target. But good goalkeeping, brave goalkeeping, with good reactions. Do you hear Katie as well? It's not coach anymore, it's gaffer. You know, she's really gone into the UK language. You know, gaffer now, it used to be coach. Another card out. Take a break, could have been for the ball, it could have been the kick, either one. There we go again. Flavio De Lerna picking up that latest yellow. Country pass. Knocked well out at the other end of the pitch. Also for the Como players, a younger one, this would be, a, again, a test. They've never come across this, you know, the rules and everything else, but the way they're playing, it's different to what they've maybe become accustomed to, where it's more of a technical game, it's more of a patient game. Hashtag now have seen a, maybe a little bit of a weakness that they can go direct and look for the second ball. In front for PK Humble. Tracks back to Hazel. In the winner of this game to the quarters to take on the winner between Raleigh Rebels and Salah FFF. Right now, Raleigh with that lead. About five minutes deep into the second half, one nil. And one million dollars to the winning team in this tournament. Champion to be crowned Sunday. Everybody else goes home empty handed. These two teams trying to keep that dream alive. Francis dropped. Just asking the question with Francis, how many times is he going to get fouled and pulled down? He's obviously their danger play, he gets away and deliberate, just pulls him down. Maybe unsighted the referee just by a player, Aztec player just in front of him. And they're going to be very confident now going into the target goal situation because they're the ones now that are looking a lot sharper, a lot brighter on the ball. Take a chance sooner or later. Is that ball again. Tries to slide it out. Thornhill with a header. Back for Humble. We'll see if there's any added stoppage time here in the second half before target score time. Kenny Ola. Dangerous prance through the box. No stoppage time. Last few seconds here for Hashtag. We'll just get it in the area, see if he can get a second ball. And... They had a look. Teniola on the deflection. But time called. Target score time. Simple bath here with the teams tied. Target score two. Next goal wins for a trip to the quarterfinals to keep the million dollar dream alive. Target time, coming up.
Jay Devereaux, hashtag United, fighting back. Lone goal of half two to tie it at a goal apiece. Setting us up for a golden goal scenario here in target score time. Yeah, it's been a, a really impressive second period by hashtag. They shook off the early disappointment of conceding the goal. They look the stronger team, a little bit more organized, which is to be expected with their experience of having promotion. But come on, we know, particularly with this gentleman, they're, they're a dangerous team. They're a team that can be clinical in the final third. As the coach said, they're lively doing that. And Cesc Abagas would have had a few words with them just to make sure that they keep possession a little bit better. He said goal. Target score time coin toss brought to you by soccer.com. Taking the ball, Como, and Captain Gabrieloni, figuring out which side they want to defend. And again, that target score, leading team score plus one in the event of a tie like we have here at one all. Target score is two. First team to get to two wins the game, and in this case, moves to the quarters. But for every five minutes, we don't get somebody to get a goal to get to that target score, each team loses a player. We go down to six on six, five on five, and so on. Part of the intrigue in this innovative format that ensures every single game of this tournament ends on a goal. And what a thrill to end it on a goal to go to the court. And, and we've seen some celebrations as well when that goal goes in, so uh, we won't be disappointed whoever it's going to be. Here we go. Next goal wins. Catron eyed up by the hashtag United defense. Francis. Cavallo. Circuitous route back. Francis, we're going to chip it forward. Man coming through. Anderson with a golden opportunity, but just steered it wide. And what a move that was. And you could just look at Seth Fabregas on the bench. He's disappointed. They didn't want their players to, their disbelief, hashtag, they think they should have scored. Delightful ball played in. It's good to think. It just inches away. It's that diagonal ball that's catching them out. They get caught ball watching. Quite oh, chance at the other end. Only thought like that, two glorious chances for victory. Patron pushed it back top of the box. It comes through and it gives a wonderful shot. But Andre is comfortable and gets a good hand on it in the end, and that's another good save by the young goalkeeper. Uh, live action, the foul called just outside the box. Strong work on that run. For Roma Lauren, another well. yellow coming. And again, it's not only the, the trip, but also the nudge in the back. And the problem is with Como, if it becomes a foot race where it's end to end like basketball, then they haven't got the energy, they haven't got the pace where hashtag have got that in abundance. So they're more measured, Como, to keep hold of the ball patient because that's in their DNA. As you said with the fans, they're used to their style of football, retaining the ball, the, if you like, the Barcelona way. Take players are getting ready to, to maybe spill onto the field and celebrate. It's a big moment. Crunch to the wall and back out. I just thought with it so obvious that he could have maybe touched it inside and, and come on where the, the goal opens up. He definitely worked that diagonal ball and it's causing some of the players' problems. Said Fabregas was fuming with his players about you know cutting the line off and pushing them one way. At the moment, it's too easy for the hashtag players to go left, right. You've got to try and work as a unit to push them into an area. And he said the young players there just header there from Anderson. He wants a corner, saying they're on the deflection. I think he might have a point. 
case as well because as he's tried to again that ball in behind head of it back him on the, looks like it's him on the side first of all he, he was claiming for handball yeah, but and definitely hitting on the side none of those coming in favor of hashtag give him go humble eyeing up the como d shot and deflection well, we put him, yeah, from this angle it looked like it had gone in not sure we knew too much about it but they can sense it at the moment hashtag they've really got their tails up they feel like they've got this winning goal and at the moment Como are just hanging on Romo Lauren close to ending it service left for the second man it was a Como player instead Strong work all the way back there from Francis to derail those plans for Como. Again, just shows you the energy. One moment is on the edge of the box trying to cross it, and then he's hustling 50, 60 yards to get back. It's been great to be out the run like that. <laughs> 21 year old legs. That's, that's what it is, 21. Lasting into the fourth game in two days. Potentially, to each team losing a player, you don't get a goal. We'll go down to six on six, less bodies, more space. Andre looking for an opening deeper down the field, can't get it. Using his frame to ward things off. Foul on Como. There's just that little bit of contact, but the referee good again. Straight into the action. It's in between the players. Diffuses any problems that they're going to have. And there we go. Five minutes elapsed. Target score not achieved. Each team loses a player from the pitch. So down to six v six. Saw some subs coming in as well. Homo, 1907 goal in the first half. Hashtag United in the second. Next goal wins. Have to be careful, hashtag. When they keep pushing forward, they're leaving. One on one at the back. He's in. Tough touch for Roma Lark. Patron. Slotted oh, through. Goal. Como free. Como wins. Lapari <laughs> sends <laughs> Como to the, the stands and to the quarterfinals. It's heartbreaking for Andre. He's made save after save, but this is what it's about being with the fans, celebrating. But it's a wonderful pass by arguably one of the best players in the tournament. He got the goal earlier on, and then he's got the killer pass. They've come a long way, they wanted to make an impact, and they've definitely done it. Como celebrating, Catrone scored early, now the assist late. Oh, it, I mean, the pass is through the eye of a needle, you know, he's, he penetrates both and then he's just got the composure. Andre tries to smother himself and he tucks in. He knows straight away with his first touch, he's coming and the whole bench and everybody else has run onto the field. And everybody available in this no offside format, lurking behind, ball through. Ball in, game over. And that's good. To, again, Cesc Fabregas coming over to the hashtag players. They were devastated. You know, they give it everything, working hard. But when you've got a special player, you've got a chance. And that is a special player. He's got that air of confidence and arrogance that these players have. And he took his goal well earlier on. And he just needed a chance. And he showed his quality.
a heartbreak for someone like Andre because I think he had an excellent game, an excellent tournament. But that journey will keep going with Hashtag. They're going to keep getting bigger, keep getting stronger. But it's about now, it's about today, and that's what it's about the game, about celebrating a tremendous performance. Maybe Hashtag heartbreak, but certainly respect for this group, for what they've accomplished at home. What they accomplished here at TST as well to get through to the knockout round. Yeah, you need experience like this to, you know, disappointment to bounce back to make you appreciate the good times. And they've done themselves proud. You know, the fans have been pleased with them, the coaching staff. And there's Cesc Fabregas with Mark Virtue, who played at Queen's Park Rangers and for Canada. And it's all the way going forward for the club. You know, this is another step in the right direction. Let's go downstairs. Katie is with Patrick Catrone. I am with Patrick, and I, this is exactly where you wanted to be, right? Win, and you keep playing, and that's exactly what you guys did tonight. How did you do it? No, we are uh, we are a young team, and uh, what the coach Sask tell, uh, told us is uh, play with passion, no? We uh, have a fun, no, with the tension, with pressure, but we are here for have a fun. We are here to play football for uh, have a fun together and uh, we are so happy to for the, this win it does look like you're having fun on the field together this is such a unique 7v7 tournament with all of the different roles have you enjoyed <laughs> being a part of this type of soccer yeah it's totally different because you have to run uh, much more than the 11 against 11 because uh, you don't have a break no and uh, you have to run but uh, i'm here for teach uh, for helping these young guys and uh, for having fun because uh, Como is my team, team and uh, I'm happy to be here with, uh, with this team. You mentioned running more, but you don't look tired. I know you're running no, more, but no, you don't no. look... I, I finished seven days ago, I finished, and uh, then I, I did uh, four days in Chicago and then I came, came here, but uh, I'm so happy to be here. It's so good to stay here in America. I love it. Well, get over there and celebrate with your team. Thank you so much. Again from the Como region left, came back, signed a three-year deal with that club and a fixture there and helping out this young group as basically a guiding force. And boy, he's been that. So NBA star Chris Paul with ties here to North Carolina. He's been here, there, and everywhere enjoying it with his family this weekend. Yeah, it's great. They've all gone over their players. Now they're going to put the the crests on the board for tomorrow. They're going to get ready. But hashtag, again, heads up. It's part of the journey. This will keep getting bigger and bigger for them. They've done themselves proud, as I said. But you're going to have bumps in the road. It's how you come from that. And you can't win everything. But they've uh, they've put a lot of credit in and the coach has done well. So watch out then for hashtag in the future. Yeah, it certainly is the case with them. They always provide compelling content. And people are going to enjoy to watch their story as it continues to progress for the Como group, they're working their logo across the bracket to another stage. Now the quarterfinals here. We'll see who gets to rise up and do the honor to but, place that part of the TST tradition. Yeah, but what a great, you know, experience for Seth Sabregas to say this place. Go and enjoy it. Play with passion. But go and enjoy the moment. I'm certainly sure they're going to enjoy this as well. <laughs> Alessandro Gabrieloni, captain, making sure it sticks. <laughs> you got one job to do, Capitano. Yep, he's got it placed there now. Como, it's spot secure in the quarters. And look at all of those smiles. This tournament's fun, huh? Yeah, it's great. It's, it's been from first game to this. As I said, Chris Paul was in the middle having pictures. His family's been in here. The kids have been shooting goals. There's his son there. It's, I mean, what a moment for the kids as well to be around and see the experience and the fans jumping in together. It's been great. Bring on tomorrow. Well, a low-scoring game here, just three goals combined. That means we had a flurry of potential ally saves of the game. Andre was... Busy all evening long. Well, we could have picked four or five, but I mean, that's the pick of the bunch with him and the power that was put behind it. And big moment in the game, and it was clinical when they had their chances going forward. But he was a big part of keeping this scoreline tight. And there's that togetherness that they're going to need to go forward on their journey. Jay Devereaux with some words for his squad. Again, doing themselves proud to get to the knockout round and look to continue 
their rise in the tiers of English football in the future. Don't forget, action coming tomorrow with quarterfinal affairs galore here from this event. Saturday, as we get down, we'll have the quarterfinals and then the semifinals, all leading to see which two teams play in the championship match for that winner-take-all million-dollar prize coming up on Sunday. What another compelling day and night of soccer here at the soccer tournament.